Hey everyone! Having user information automatically sent to your Facebook Business Manager really helps to speed up the market targeting you can do with Facebook custom audiences. And Takermat helps you do that, and here is a demo to show you how. In this demo, a business has decided to offer coffee as their brand new product line, which is purchased through a chatbot on Facebook. They then want to create a custom audience for the product gathered from the chatbot to target a certain market. In this example, we'll be using ChatFuel, which is a chatbot platform for Facebook Messenger as our chatbot. Okay, so this is the integration, which is called the scenario on Integer Map. Let me show you how it works. The ChatFuel JSON listener module receives the data instantly when the customer places an order. Simply add a webhook, which is used to receive data instantly, and paste it in the relevant place in ChatFuel. This connects the ChatFuel bot to IntegraMat. The bundle of data then passes through to the data store, search records module, which is IntegraMat's internal tool for storing and transferring data from scenarios. Here, the order coffee is searched for to check if it exists or not in the data store. Next is a router, which splits the scenario into two routes, each containing a filter. Now, if the order coffee does not exist in the data store, this means that it is the first order for the product, therefore the custom audience needs to be created. In this case, the bundle of data meets the criteria of the filter on the bottom route and passes through to the Facebook custom audiences, create a custom audience module. And as the name states, this module automatically creates a custom audience. To set this up, you need to add a connection or select an existing one here. Then, select your business manager and the Add account. To give the custom audience a name, map the order element outputted by the chat field module in the name field, which contains the name Coffee. Once the custom audience is created, you need to add the customer's details to the audience. This is done in the next module, which is the Facebook custom audiences Add Users to a Custom Audience. Once you select the business manager and ad account, map the custom audience ID outputted by the preceding Facebook module here so that the customer's details are added to the audience that was just created. In the data field, click the edit icon. In the fields like email, phone, and so on, map the corresponding elements outputted by the chat field module which contain the customer's details. The final step is to add the customer's details to the data store using the Add Replace a Record module. Again, map the elements that contain the customer's details outputted by the chat field module to the corresponding fields and also map the custom audience ID outputted by the Facebook custom audience create a custom audience module. All right. So when more orders for coffee are received from new customers, and since the custom audience has already been created for it, the bundle of data will pass through the filter on the top route and the customer's details will be added to the existing audience and to the data store. Okay, so let's get started. Let's place the first order for coffee using the chatbot on Facebook. All right, so as you can see, the scenario executed successfully after that. Here you can see that the order was received and since it was the first order for coffee, the custom audience was created and the customer's details were added to the audience and the data store. If you go to your business manager, you can see that the custom audience coffee was created with the customer's details as intended. Now let's place a second order as a new customer. Okay, again, you can see that the order was received and since the custom audience for coffee already exists, the customer's details were added to the custom audience and the data store. Awesome. So what if you'd like to add another product line? Let's say T. No problem. No adjustments need to be made to the scenario as the same process will be followed. The custom audience will automatically be created for the new product when the first order is received and other customers that purchase the product will also be added to the audience. And that's it. 
That concludes this video. Thanks for watching and happy automating.